Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Heroes of the Storm, Storm Grounds Invitational September Edition. My name is Nature. It is Navi versus Team Alternate, and it is the second game of the best of three. Spoiler alert, it was Team Alternate that won the first one. Um, so Navi is one game away from elimination, and Team Alternate is one game away from ascending to the semifinals. First pick here, Abathur for Navi. Uh, as I failed to mention, we are in the draft phase already, uh, if you hadn't noticed so. Um, Zeratul being banned out here, we're playing on Sky Temple. So that is a, a little bit of a larger map than we had last game. And uh, so far, it, uh, it seems like Team Alternate were pretty dominant in that game. They had one little slip up where they overextended a bit and then stayed too long, got caught by a Void Prison and uh, apparently... Uh, Navi don't want any Void Prisons in the coming game. So Uther ban here for Team Alternate. They don't want that one happening on Sky Temple. Um, because the AoE stun when it comes down from Uther. It could be very, very troublesome. Especially on those temples. Muradin now, of course. A very standard pick there. As I said last game. And, and really. there There's really not too much to say about Muradin. He's picked uh pretty darn often so uh when he's picked at this point i'm uh, not too surprised team alternate going for the leoric so some extra crowd control and warrior for them and that is pretty nice because uh Obviously, they did have a great game with their double warrior composition last game around. Johanna now for Navi on that one. Johanna was banned out last game, so there was no chance there for either of the teams to pick her up. But at this point, Johanna seems like a very wise decision. And on top of that, Raynor comes in here. Raynor, of course, good assassin. Um... And uh, very, very good with Johanna who can peel for him and he can stay uh, stay at range and do the damage he wants to do. Last ban for Team Alternate. Going to make use of that time pool to go and make to uh, make this one happen. See what they decide to do. So as you might have noticed, I am solo casting, which means that at some point you might hear me break for a little bit to take a sip of water. But uh, please do... Um, uh, excuse me for that. Tyrael is banned out. Team Alternate will not have that one around, as did Navi last game. And now Navi going for the last ban in this phase. It's, uh, they are, of course, one game away from elimination. And since this is an eight-team format, we're going straight to the semifinals after the next quarterfinal. Um, which is going to feature one of these two teams, of course. The Auric, um, of course, there for Team Alternate. And right now they're going to look for those two coming bans. Illidan and Jaina, two assassins. Jaina, of course, not being banned this game around. Zagara, however, was. So they're going to make use of that and immediately pick up Jaina. Sonya and Rhaegar are going to uh, get picked up there as the last two picks for Navi. Support has now been locked in. Only the support remains here for Team Alternate, or they're going for some crazy composition. Um, but I believe that uh, the support here is what they're going to try and look for. A couple of seconds remaining until we figure out what that is. And it, it, uh, it's going to have to be uh, a pretty... Well, obviously, all of the champions, um, heroes, rather, are balanced. Uh, but it's going to be Karazim. Um, so, some extra punching power here in Team Alternate. And he'll be able to help out Jaina and Illidan. And especially Illidan if he heads for the backside of the enemy team. Now that being said, we are once again going into a very brief commercial break. Once we come back, we'll be in the Nexus and ready to roll. Stick around.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Heroes of the Storm, Stormgrounds Invitational. I stayed by me, nature, of course. Um, so far, it is one up here for alternates. And introducing the teams here, it is um, Darkmok on Illidan on the blue side, Crosby on Jaina, Gurmherd on Karazim, Nurok on Leoric, and Blomby on Muradin. Then going over to the red side, it is... Jayla, who is playing Abathur, Splendor on Rhaegar, Eternal on Raynor this game around, JPL on Sonya, and then Alex the Proji on Johanna. Let's see what happens in this game. Now remember, it is one game up here for, um, for Team Alternate, so they are one game away from winning this series, and that has to feel good for them. Alex the Proji here, going to run into Darkmark, nothing too surprising there. Jayla helping out Alex, the uh, symbiote is uh, working wonders, helping him to uh, help, uh, help, helping him to do some damage, but now Alex could be in trouble. Crosby and Blomby looking for the kill here. Shield slam, shield glare rather is... Uh, going to uh, help him stay alive do some damage he'll be fine he's slightly tanky but he lost some health so if they keep on doing this he could be in trouble at some point splendor and eternal now in that top side of the map are alone with the two of them of course and then blomby was spotted out but here come the temples the top one and the middle one about to activate let's see which of them they decide to go for. Lombi is ready here, but Proji is going to try and contest that one in the middle side. Middle of the map. Alex is uh, actually getting a hold of this one pretty effectively, but here come Darkmok and Blombi going to try and contest this one as uh, Proji was forced to get out. Meanwhile, top side. Splendor and Eternal going to tr going to try and get a hold of this one, but really they cannot, and they're finally forced out as the level four talents come in here. Meanwhile, Johanna falls, and Alex the Proji is sent to the death chamber. As for now, it is the blue team again, Team Alternate, that get a hold of that temple. That one will fire pretty nicely for them. As the first tower has fallen. In the top side, some fighting going on here. Darkmark getting healed up by the Karazim. Eternal could be in trouble, but Darkmark not deciding to follow up on this one. And um, uh, they are going to have to back away, which means both of the temples were capitalized on here by the blue team uh, alternate, which is extremely nice for them. They are one level ahead, and this is... Pretty much uh, the start they could have only dreamed of. No kills on them so far. They have got themselves a kill already, of course. And really, um, that's pretty much all they could want. Obviously, from uh, setting aside some unrealistic expectations. Mercs here on both sides of the map, unsurprisingly. As uh, they're going to try and force out... Nurok there in the bottom side and make him defend for a bit while they switch focus. Up in that top side of the map, three members still off alternate going to try and force this turret to uh, go down. In the ideal situation, Darkmok actually getting a little bit of damage. Condemn comes down. Here's Darkmok looking for Eternal. Eternal is pretty... Is in a pretty bad spot. Crosby and Darkmark both looking for him. And he will go down. There's the dwarf toss on towards Splendor. Splendor will go down as well as he flies away. And now Alex the Proji in trouble. That's three kills. Oh, Darkmark could be in trouble here. Does use, uh, does use the evasion and he'll get out alive. Almost went down there to the towers. But, uh, of course, Illidan does what Illidan does best. And... Uh, they're going to capture this Merc camp on top of that. Two levels ahead. This is a pretty bad start here for um, 
for Team Navi. But uh, anything can happen, of course. And uh, so far, they haven't given up just yet. Temple activating in 10 seconds. Mines are there. So let's see if anyone steps on those. Um, but... Uh, Oh, actually, Nurok might be stepping on one of those toxic nests. Ah, oh, nope, he missed one. Nurok now is going to um, start channeling this temple. And really, he's all alone. There's really no contention coming out of uh, Navi. Alternate getting a firm hold of this one. And Navi do not want to fight, obviously, a team that has reached level 10. They have their heroic abilities available. Metamorphosis, Water Elemental, Divine Palm, March of the Black King. And last but not least, of course, Avatar there. So it is uh, not the team they want to fight at this point. And, uh, well, Leoric there on the bottom side all alone it is going to... Had a, get a hold of um, of that uh, temple, and they are still two levels ahead. This one might start snowballing, though. But uh, it does seem like Navi is going to uh, try and make something happen, at least, because they don't want to sit around doing nothing, taking down two towers, and then f quickly using that uh, Hearthstone. Alex the Proji actually getting interrupted there. This could be bad for them. Here comes the Water Elemental. Eternal getting slowed down there by Leoric. And, well, this is bad news. He does get the Adrenaline Rush down, but it is too little, too late. And then Alex the Proji also caught out there. The, uh, the shock, the thunderclap going down. Condemn, he's right now way too far into enemy territory. Dark Mock finishing that one off. And finally, Navi reached level 10, but... You could once again say that this might be too little, too late. Going through those heroics, it is Ultimate Evolution, Ancestral Healing, unsurprisingly. Hyperion there for uh, for Raynor, so no Banshees for him. Wrath of the Berserker, and then Blessed Shield for Johanna. Meanwhile, Alternates pushing in the bottom side of the map. Dark Mark uh, making his presence known as uh, they're sending Jayla up top to uh, make sure she defends and uh, perhaps re uh, relieves some pressure. Um, but so far, really, it's it's looking bad, but it's looking better than it was a couple of minutes ago here for Navi. The, uh, ooh, this is great timing here out of alternate picking up the mercs at the exact time that the temples are about to activate they're going to go and fight with those guardians but um, we are going to have and see if navi actually goes and tries to contest these because otherwise there's going to be two temples activated and those are going to dish out a whole lot of damage which is going to be painful to say the least. Lyric all alone in that bottom side. It seems like they might want to contest this one out of Navi here. And they are actually going to move down there. They're going to leave alone that temple in the middle. To, uh, no, they just sent German Herd up there to make sure they get that last little bit of... Uh, actually, the last half of... Um, of power out of their temple but right now it looks like this could be contested they get themselves that temple and it is going to fire the other direction but Blumby and the rest of the crew are here to defend it they're going to get that last little bit of energy out of it and that one is going to channel and completely obliterate this tower in um, the base of Navi heading up towards the top side alternate is now looking for a fight Blumby can he, he's looking for blood and he, uh, he can smell it, I think, because at this point they're really trying to follow up these engages here. Uh, Alex the Proji getting that shield on himself, of course. It's a bit of damage, but this temple is still available, so they're putting some pressure and then moving out. Always with the temple in the back of their mind as finally they send Lyric over there to channel that one and that might be enough to uh, 
take out two of these towers. The rest of the team is going to stand guard here to make sure Lyra gets the channel off. Ooh, but that is a beautiful stun down towards Darkmok. Uses the metamorphosis, is forced rather to use the metamorphosis to survive. And right now he's falling pretty low, being forced to run out of there. In the end, Water Elemental is down as we also see the uh, Avatar coming out. JPL falling pretty low. Stasis is not enough to save the second member as right now... Um, Another member falls, Jerma heard in trouble, Jayla looking for him, actually the clone rather, looking for him, Karazim will go down, that's three members dead here on alternate, and is this what they were looking for, is this the turnaround they need, finally the clone falls, and it could be, oh actually, uh, Alex Apogee needs to, uh, s doesn't need to stick around for too long here, Wraithwalk comes through, and Proji could very well go down here. Nurok finishing, trying to finish him off. Oh, but the shield, he's so, so low. And then the chain heal comes through as well. And Alex, the Proji survives. It was a good fight, I think, here for Navi. But they're going to need a couple more if they want to actually win this one. Or they're going to need some very sneaky um, rotations. And uh, they're going to need... and. Uh, well, outsmarts the enemy team for the rest of this game without actually fighting. But that is, in this game, a lot easier said than done. As Darkmark gets a hold here on the Johanna, is uh, really not going to get a lot out of that one. However, um, right now, they could be pushing for boss here. After they took the temple. They're only... Around one level ahead at this point, uh, alternate that is. So they did close a bit of that discrepancy on the Navi side, which is very nice for them. But as I said, they're not quite there yet. They need a couple of those fights to uh, continue um, what they started. And then uh, they might be back in this game. But so far they are still on the back foot and... They need to act accordingly. Nurok is going to um, clear out the top side of the map. We might see them going for the boss here. They're going to scout out because they're not quite sure where the enemy team is. And it seems like they might find out Karazim here. Ooh, but it didn't quite get it. The Blessed Shield being used right there. That's on a 50 second cooldown. So boss did get some aggro. Tornado comes in. And right now, here's the fight. Hyperion is there. Metamorphosis on towards that backside. Uh, ancestral healing doesn't go through. So that's one huge heroic wasted splendor right now. Also going to go down. Jayla has got that uh, clone. But it's really not enough. Sonya goes down as the third member. And then this could very well be... The second game here for alternate. There's three members dead there on 30 second death timers. And well, Darkmok looking for this fort. And perhaps after that, the core. Alex the Proji, the only remaining member aside from Abathur. And they indeed go for the core. This is it. Alternate could very well be in the semifinals. Just 90% remaining. And there's really nothing I see them doing about this Navi. That is, of course, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like our third semi-finalist is indeed going to be alternate. Now, we do have two more matches remaining today. One of which is the coming quarterfinals. So, if you're up for more Heroes of the Storm action, be sure to stick around as we'll be right back. <laughs> 